Nice weather on the way. Actually, uh, Tim Reed, this would be perfect Boilermaker running weather right here. Absolutely. I mean, um, although I, I heard from more people that um, the the misty rain actually was a, was a benefit when they were running. Right. There was, a, I think, there was a little bit of a headwind for folks. Yeah. But um, yeah. actually, I heard um, that the Kenyans and the Ethiopians actually don't like running in that rainy weather oh they that don't weather. did you tell oh you know who was it was um um who we have uh for our coverage every year i'm drawing a blank robert uh, roger, roger robinson roger, roger yeah. robinson yeah he actually brought up that point in a meeting a couple of years ago he was talking to us about because they have such a fear of malaria and mosquitoes in their in their country it attra- the rain attracts mm. that out that when it rains they have uh you yeah know, Feelings of negative feelings towards it. Right. Uh, anyway, uh, the rain was just enough for the the novice runner and uh, and for those that weren't um, uh, Kenyans or well, what have you, so but this they was liked pro- it. This was probably one of our safest races. So just to kind of give you a, 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 a an under a baseline. Yeah. During 2000, 2007, 2008, we had. We measure it by per, per thousand people how many encounters they have with somebody medical, whether it's in the medical tent, whether it's along the course, whether it's at the post-race party. 2007, 2008, we had 43 per thousand. Hmm. Last year, we had eight per thousand. This year, we had four per thousand. Wow. So, uh, so it was a very safe race this year. Incredibly safe yeah. race. Um, uh, this would have been the year to run, Christine. It's safe, even with a hernia even or something with a hernia. like that. You know, it's, it was a safe year. Uh, okay, so the Melania speech last night. I, I have a theory on this, and I want to. I want to. I'll. I'll give you what I have. Uh, but first, though, let's listen in. Uh, just so you know, she gave a speech last night. It was very well received, and um, uh, different though, different than previous years, but well received. And uh, overnight, uh, there was a comparison made. Uh, somebody made the comparison or leaked it out or whatever. And uh, they said that it sounded like there was a bit of plagiarism going on, that the speech seemed to have been really taken from Michelle Obama's speech in 2008 at the Democratic Convention. And I'm thinking, wow, that can't be true. But then when you play the speech back, uh, listen and you be the judge. Listen to this. Rock and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. My parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're going to do. That your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise. That you treat people with dignity and respect that you treat people with respect because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. Well, um, I guess you could take any political speech and find certain similarities in it, but these are pretty uh, visual um, or audible. Uh, Christine, uh, pretty close, huh? Pretty close, and I think it's safe to say that she did not write her speech and, you know... I don't know. In looking at some of the analysis overnight of what happened at the Republican National Convention, one of the things that came out was, you know, I think one of the articles was titled 10 times when presidential candidates have plagiarized other speeches. Not that that makes it right by yeah. any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, she wasn't delivering the Gettysburg Address. So, yeah, but know. I mean, listen, I mean, you can't uh, uh, listen. This is and this is my take on it. It, it is not, you're right, it's not the end of the world, it's Melania Trump giving a speech, and so they lifted from, uh, so they lifted from Michelle Obama. Uh, my take on it is, why would you want this distraction? Why would you even need to take from, from Michelle, of all people, Michelle Obama's speech? It's stupid. It's it a distraction. Like a and that's my, that's where I'm going with it. I'd like to know who wrote this speech and what was their intention. Is this a setup? Is this somebody who is trying to um, create more controversy? Um, 
that that secretly is against Trump. I think this speechwriter has got to be really investigated. If you're the Trump invest, you're the Trump campaign. You got to look in and see what were what was the intention here. Those seems like a setup. Or how many more are like how many more are like this speechwriter on the staff? I guess I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm for this infiltration theory. I, I, okay, I'm, so I'm you think you. that the whole, th- that Hillary has infiltrated the Trump campaign? I think so. Okay, all right. <laughs> I think Obama's uh, 2008 speechwriter was unemployed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this worked. Yeah, listen. <laughs> try this. Or, try this or, one out. <laughs> uh, uh, can't you? Can't you go? On, isn't there a website called um, uh, Successful uh, Convention Speeches uh, dot com? Yeah. And you can go and actually the same thing you can do with term papers. You can go find a term paper. That's it. And you take it and you just pump it in and uh, and you get a great grade. Hey, by the way, this got an A response. Let's use this one. Sim- oh, it just so happens to be Michelle Obama's. Whatever, it worked really well. Similar assignments in college, you know how? Yeah. Just change a few words, change the date, boom. Different there paper. you have it. And yep. uh, you know, maybe this, uh, maybe this speechwriter was just short for time, and uh, or maybe an infiltrator uh, from the <laughs> from the Hillary Clinton <laughs> camp. Uh, Andrew, who knows? D- Andrew does listen at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah, the conspiracies. <laughs>